the recording. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Grade five. How are you today? How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> You're doing good. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So welcome to math class grade five. Are you excited? This is the first day that we will have our official class for math. Okay. All right. So to begin, I want um I want Charles. Charles, please. Lead the prayer, everyone. You close your Pray eyes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Close your eyes. Get to your hands like this. And let's pray. Go, Charles. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day. We are very eager for the gift of life in protection. Please guide us to serve us our lessons today. May our children Amen. 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 Thank you, Charles. Okay. Um, for everyone, whenever I, you know, I ask you to lead the prayer, don't read very fast. It's a prayer. So there must be, um, you know, not so fast, just slow. Because we're talking to God during our prayer, right? Correct? Don't be so fast. Charles, parang may humahabol sa'yo. <laughs> Okay. All right. But anyway, thank you so much, Charles, for the prayer. Okay, good afternoon. How are you? How's your weekend, grade five? How's your weekend? See, Jane, what are you doing? <laughs> what happened to your hair? You do like this. Fix your hair. Don't do that. Fix your hair. Do like this. Yes. Oh, you see, you're pretty. Flex your bangs. <laughs> I like it. How's your weekend, Alexander, Nadine? How's your weekend? Okay lang po. Okay lang. How about Nadine? How's your weekend? Good po. Okay. Oh, Marco. Hello, Marco. How's your weekend, Marco Dwayne? Doing good? Okay lang. Okay. All right. That's good. How about your assessment for your grades? Uh, do you practice all the lessons that we reviewed last time? Hmm? Wala? Hmm. Paano yun? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sorry for that. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay. Now, let's review our virtual class. Uh, Alexander Green, may you please read the virtual class rules? Alexander? Okay, number one. Find a quiet place. Mm -hmm. Be ready. Be ready and be on time. Hi, very good. Attendance is always, mm -hmm. is always keep your, checked. Keep your video on and look at the camera. Pay okay. attention. Listen and participate. Keep the page. Mute your participate. Mute your until and mute yourself until it is your time to speak. Say no. Mm. At to distractions. Okay. Thank you, Alexander. I think your place is um having a I know. Are they are they busy? Hi Munis. Good afternoon. I am okay. Now so let's do the review for the topic you had, the last topic you had. 
uh, third quarter, okay? Uh, uh, we are going to review about the proportions. So as you can see, I have three so I, I have three items here that we're going to find the value of x. Okay, the value of x. So that we will have a complete proportion. So let's find the value of f, the x. Do you remember in our review, we talked about proportions, right? CJ, do you remember? Benedict, Charles, do you remember? Charlo. Charles, can you hear me? Bo. Mm. Do you remember? Uh, I'm not. Mm. How about Nadine? Do you remember? Very important. How about Munis? Do you remember how to get the value of x? <sighs> how about Benedict? Hello, Benedict. Good afternoon. Benedict, do you remember how to get the value of x to complete the proportion? Oh, hello, Benedict. I'm talking to you. Hello? Hmm. Alexis. How about Alexis? <laughs> Hi, Alexis. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Do you know how? Do you remember how to get the value of X to complete the proportion? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? The value of x to complete the proportion. No more? Okay. Oh, no. Grade 5. So, I will answer the first item. Okay? You listen, everyone. Look at the screen. For us to uh, get the value of x and to complete the proportion, we need to do the this one. Okay, please read, Warren, uh, Charles. Charles, please read, what's this? Cross. Cross multiply. Uh, yes, you remember now? Uh, oh, not yet. <laughs> okay, everyone, to do the cross multiply, uh, first, the first numerator multiply to the second denominator. The first numerator is x, right? And the second denominator is 20. So x times 20 is 20x. Okay? One. Next, I will use color blue. For the second one, you multiply the second numerator, that is 20, I mean 10, to the first denominator, that is 2. So 10 times 2 is, what is it, Benedict? 10 times 2? 20. 20, very good. So that's it. So you have 20x is equal to 20. Now, after that, you're going to divide this one by 20. Why is it 20? Because we need to get rid of this number so that x will have its value. So 20x divided by 20. Crash out tayo dito. Bring down x is equal to... 20 divided by 20 is what? Marco, 20 divided by 20 is? Okay. Wait, Marco. I will say something. Grade 5. Wait. Grade 5. 
Look at the screen. Okay. Everyone, I want you to sit properly. How to sit properly? Show me, Be. Show me how to sit properly, everyone. Like this. Sit properly. How to sit properly? Mm, ganun. If you sit properly, you can really listen very well, right? But if you will not sit properly, you will feel sleepy and then you don't want to listen to me anymore. So you need to sit properly, okay? Everyone, thumbs up? Okay, grade five? Yes? Ah, only Nadine and CJ. And how about oh, Muniz? How about the others? Blue, Chloe. Hello, Chloe. Good afternoon. So, okay, Alex also. Benedict also. So, you need to sit properly. Is it okay, grade five? Okay. All right. Again, let's go back. Oh. Okay. So, Benedict, what is 20 divided by 20? One. 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 Very good. So, the value of x now is one. So, now your proportion for number one is complete. One is to two is equal to 10 is to 20. Okay? Now, one to, let's try number two. Let's try number two. Who wants to try? Try Muni. Yes, you want to try? Hmm, why? You have your example here already. How about Vaughn? Ah, uh, no, no, no. There's no... Oh, yes. Vaughn Marcus. Vaughn? Are you there? Vaughn? Hello, Vaughn. Vaughn, are you hiding, Vaughn? <laughs> Vaughn. Okay, how about CJ? CJ. Hmm? Uh, Alexa. Faith, Faith. Let's try Faith. Hello, Faith. Faith. Okay, okay Faith. Cool. Yes, let's try. What's the first one? X times 12. Very good. That is? 12x. Very good. Is equal to? 12. No, 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 no. This one. The second one. Here. 9 times 4. 36. Yes. Good job, Alex. I like that. Then after? Uh, Chloe. Hello, Chloe. Wait, wait, wait. Who said that? Chloe, is that you or still Faith? Chloe. Hmm? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Chloe, 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 Chloe. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. Okay, Chloe, what's next? You got your 36. After that? Divided by 12. Divided by 12. Here only or also the other side? Also the other side. Very good. So, then after that, you divide, right? 12x divided by 12 is it's all now. And then 36 divided, 12, divided by 12 is what? Three. What? Three. Very Three. good. Oh, Chloe. Chloe, good job. Okay, Chloe, now you got your... Oh, we have Alexander J. Hello, Alexander J. 
So, we get our value for x. So, x is to 4 is equal to 9 is to 12. Wow, very good. Grade 5. Now, let's have Benedict. Want to try number 3, Benedict? Benedict. Okay. All right. What's the first step? The first step is this one, right? So one times nine is? Nine. Benedict? Ten. One. One? <laughs> nine. You, do you said, what's that? Nine. Nine. I, I need everyone when when you answer me, don't mute directly because we are still talking, right? <laughs> I need your immediate answer, so don't, don't mute yet, okay? All right, so your answer is 9 is equal to, what's next, Benedict? X. X, X times... This one? X times three. Yes, x times 3. Yes, very good. So, x times 3 is what? Benedict, I said don't mute yet. Your answer is 3. The answer is 3x. Uh, no need to solve that one. Just tabi mo lang sila. Okay? 3 times x is 3x. Okay, Benedict? Okay, let's have... Um, um, Eunice. Okay, Eunice, this is your time. So, uh, Benedict said that we have 9 is equal to 3x. Now, what's the next step? Munis, I can't hear you. Okay. Munis? What do you think? Uh, at this part you're going to divide right so what is your denominator is it nine or three nine or three what do you think okay minis you want some help Hello, is it me you're looking for? <laughs> okay, who wants to help Muniz? Who wants to help? No, yes, very good, Alexis. Okay, Alexis, what's next? Hello, Alexis. Though this is your first time to enter. If you want to you want to answer directly, that's a good thing. So what's your denominator for this one? Your denominator is what? I I don't hear anything. What happened to me? <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's have Chloe along. Chloe, can you help me, Nis? Chloe? Mini, I mean Chloe. Hello. Chloe? Can you hear me, Chloe? Can you hear me, guys? Everyone? Papa. Yes. Chloe? You want to try? You want? No. 
I, I think this is some tricky, guys, because dx now is at the right side of the equation. But don't worry, okay? Because, di ba, pag dito na tayo na fork, you need to get read the number uh, beside the x. So, you that will be your denominator. Kasi kailangan natin si i-crash out ba, di ba? So, ito. Ito. Okay? Okay? Alright. Very good. Oh, si Alexander lang nag-thumbs up. Hi, naku. Oh, si Chloe din. So, get ready, X. So, si X na lang. Now, you you will have your value of X. Oh, si Marco. Oh, Marco, what's the value of X? 9 divided by 3 is? 9 divided by 3. 1, 2, 3. The answer is 3. three. Very good. Paper? That's right. Uh. So, dx. So, x is equal to 3. Now, you have it the complete proportion for number 3. So, 1 is to 3 is equal to 3 over 9. Rar. <laughs> Grade 5. Ay, nag-lunch kayo, grade 5? Ha? Nag-lunch wala? nag -lunch. Very good. Why is it like that? Anyway, let's move on. Now, for today, everyone, we will have our new topic. That is area of a circle. Mm. Marco. Hello, Marco. Marco, see. Marco. Yes, thank you. Please read this one. A and B for the competencies that we're going to achieve for this topic. Please read. Find the area of a given circle. Mm -hmm. So, routine and routine. Non -routine, uh -huh. and non -routine problems. Okay, very good. And then, what's the learning target? Still, Marco, please read Marco. Everything. I can I can find the area of a given certain inter in integrity. We must learn to stand in our area. Oh yes. Of area of responsibility. So yes, first of all today we're going to discuss about the area. Okay, area. What is area? Grade 5, do you remember? Hmm? What's area again? Area. Area teacher is area. <laughs> What's area? Hmm? Chloe? Okay. What's area? Mm, I will stop sharing. Everyone, what is area? Hmm. What's area? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Can you see this one? This one? Look. Look at this. Can you see? What shape is this? Hmm? What shape Square. is this? Square. Very good. Uh. Yes, 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 Where? yes. Yes. Now, I draw something inside the square. What's that? I draw oh, yeah. some. This one, this one. Ting. Vector. Oh, what? What's inside the uh. Square, very good. Those squares inside the square actually are actually the, what's this? Di maklaro, no? <laughs> Wait lang. Is, I can, area. Uh, yes, very good. 
Yes. Area. Mm -hmm. Um. How about? Uh, do you know the grade grade five grade? Yung full of boxes. I show you. Wait for a while. Mm -hmm. I'll show you what is greed. For my idea, what is greed all about? Ayan. Okay, can you see? Mm. Okay, can you see this one? Grade five? Yes. Okay. Yes, what's this? This is grid. Then what shape is it? Square. Yes. So those squares, okay, for example, this one, I, I will draw some shape. So this is the rectangle, right? Now, inside the rectangle, you can see a lot of what? A lot of? Grade 5, you need to turn on your microphone. <laughs> turn on. Come on. What's inside? Munis. What? Squares. Ah, inside of the rectangle. What's inside it? Benedict, what's that? Square. Yes, those squares. Yes, those squares helps us to measure the area because area is the space inside the shape. Okay, space inside the shape. Understand? What's air? What's area, Charles? The space outside or inside? Uh, inside. Inside. And how to measure the area through outside. the outside. through what? Uh, through the uh, a square. Yes, yeah. very good. Oh. <laughs> Okay, very good. All right, let's go back to circles. Mm, this one. Because our topic is about the area of the circle. Now, let's learn about circle first. What is circle, by the way? Hmm? What is circle, by the way? Wait, why is it like this? Ayan. What is circle? Grade 5, look. Look at the screen. See, Jane, I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Turn on your microphone. Okay, see, Jane, please read. What is circle? A circle is a closed figure with many co curved boundaries and has many parts that represent the properties and characteristics, characteristics of a circle. Yeah, so what is circle? Okay, guys. Now look at the circle here. It is a closed figure. Huh? Close, those are close. A curve with curved boundaries. I like the square. What's the difference between the circle and square? Charles. Uh, well, I, well, I, well, I, I, well, 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 I,
Oh, ano? Ah, okay lang. Come on. Circle has this one, curve. But the, cir the, the square have what? Line. Yes. And what else? It has? Side. Sides. Yes, very good. Good job. Now, children, look at the circle. Uh, there are many, huh? many parts of the circle here. But can you, we can we can uh, we have here the center, the diameter, the radius, the sector, the sec. However, we only need to focus the this one. Okay, this one only. So we have in a circle. Oi. Grade 5, look at the screen. Okay. Look at the screen. Now, Be Benedict, look at the circle. What is this, this part? Diameter. This is the? Diameter. Yes. How about this one, see Jane, from center to here? To the point, to the other point, center to the other point. What's that? No. From center. See, diameter na overlap siya. Parang yun siyang half ng circle. Hindi talaga parang half talaga yan siya. But how about the radius? Hmm? Radius is? Look at the picture, CJ. Radius is from center to here. So, oh, CJ is talking to someone. Hello, no, CJ. <laughs> Mayroon problema? Okay ka lang? May prob? Hala. Okay, see, si Jane, what is radius? Radius here. Look at the picture. So, if this is the diameter, like the half, okay, from side to the other side of the circle, what is radius? Nadine? Hello, Nadine? Uh -huh. mm? Okay, the radius is this the one. Diameter. What? The half of? The diameter. Yes, oh, very good. Very good, the D. Half of the diameter. Oh, Clara, masyado sa ano? Picture. Okay, so now we have our diameter and the radius. We need to know them because knowing the diameter and the radius, uh, we may able to get the area. Because uh, the area po, the area is actually this one. Look. This is the area, everyone. Area of the circle the area of the circle is equal to pi times r squared children less than one minute now after this please enter directly okay enter agad my 10 minutes pa tayo okay grade five say go